Hey, we're Brandon and Vanessa, and we're here with your Lincoln Market update for October 2024. Let's start off by talking about the houses that are actively for sale. We have double the amount of houses that we had since January of this year. So 196 houses actively for sale. It's something we wanna keep watching as we get closer and closer to the elections. Okay, so now let's look at the average price per square foot in Lincoln, California. If we take a look at the graph, it is a major jump from 336 per square foot all the way to 351. This is the highest average per square foot price in the last 12 months a pretty significant jump in price. Let's talk about the actual days on market. So how long does it take from a house to go from active on the market to pending? We actually have the highest days on market. If you look there on the graph, for the last five months, we have the highest days on market. It's been like gradually increasing. Now let's look at the average sold price versus list price. And that actually means what's the difference between what the house was actually listed for and what it sells for. So we broke a streak of seven months straight at 99%. So houses were selling for 99% of what they were listed for. And houses are now this last month selling 98%. So we just had a little bit of a drop. Let's take a peek at the average sold price and the average for sale price. When you look, you can see that the average for sale price, houses actively for sale have gone down over the past five months or so, now down to 778,000. But what matters more is the average sold price, what houses are actually selling for, not what they're listed for. That's actually jumped up from 651,000 to 709,000. Okay, are you ready for it? Lincoln, California has the highest months of inventory of all of Placer County with three months. When you think of three months of inventory, it's actually still a seller's market, but we're heading more towards stable. Now, you may have a few smaller cities like, like Loomis, 7,000, Granite Bay, 22,000, that may have slightly higher than three months. But this is a large, like Lincoln is caught up to Rockland. So Rockland has 72,000 population. Lincoln's all the way up to 56. So it's, it's one of the fastest growing cities in, in the country. So when you look at months of inventory, this is something that we wanna keep, keep looking at because we don't have as many new homes in Lincoln as we do in Roseville, like a population of 170,000. So when you're looking at Lincoln as possibly moving there, this is a really good opportunity. There's more inventory, double than back in January. That means you have more options available to you. We're seeing lower prices for what they're actually selling for, which means that gives you as a buyer a little bit more room to negotiate and kind of negotiate on that price. And so with that, also seeing Lincoln kind of start leaning towards a more stable market is also encouraging. Yeah, and, and there are a lot of factors, right? We're, we're in October and we're looking at the election within the month. We look at the Fed just cut interest rates, but they went down initially, but now have gone up. But now there are lenders that are coming around that are doing uh, like interest rate renegotiations where you can lock in a rate and you can renegotiate a little bit later to get a lower interest rate. So interest rates still will be going down. It's just not in the time frame that we that we thought initially. Uh, and there's still more time throughout the year, but now is a great time for a buyer uh, because the people that need to sell their houses for specific reasons, divorce, moving out of the area, they still need to sell. So it's a good time to get a deal. So if you have any questions about the market or, yours, or your specific scenario, buying or selling, we'd love to help. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow us for more market updates.